Hey everybody, this is Mark and today I'm going to show a really quick and easy demo to allow you to be able to rotate your symbols within a web map in ArcGIS Online. It's not only going to twist things, it's also going to blow your mind. So let's get at it. So let's start here. I have a blank map viewer in ArcGIS Online and I'm simply going to start by adding some layers from the Living Atlas. Now, if you're not familiar with the Living Atlas, there are thousands of layers that you can use here that have been curated. And one of them has been contributed by the government of Manitoba, showing some real-time drought monitoring information for certain locations throughout the province. Now, the important thing to note, especially for this demo, is that you don't have to own the data in order to change the symbology of a layer. So let's show an example of this. You can see here from their current conditions is that the colors of the symbols are indicating um, how the drought conditions are for that location. So if it's in blue, the water levels are above normal, everything is good. If it's red, their water levels are much below normal. And you can see the percentiles that define each of those colors. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a composite. Uh, symbol. So basically, I'm going to draw the same symbol twice uh, for the same layer. So to do that, I'm going to first make a copy of that layer so we have two different layers that we're going to be working with. Now, in addition to that, I've also created two different symbols for our composite. Uh, the first is a simple graphic. It's just a semicircle that indicates a gauge that's using the same color scheme and the same percentiles that we saw in the legend just a few seconds ago. So I'm going to use this as sort of the base of our composite symbol. And then on top of that, I'm going to add up or add in a needle. And that needle is going to give us what the actual value is or the percentile value of that location. Um, for that current moment. So we're going to use that needle on top of that gauge. So let's start at the bottom. For this composite symbol, I'm going to change the symbology of it to be able to point to that, that, that semicircle that I built a little bit earlier. Now I did copy and paste this gauge into a web server, so I'm just going to copy the URL to that same image. I'm going to paste it in here. So we can have it as our base. I'm also going to change the size of this so we can see it a little bit more clearly. So there we go. We have our base for our uh, composite symbol. And for this, I might want to um, basically hide it uh, from the legend and also turn off its pop-up so it just appears in the background. It's kind of a dumb layer that way. Now let's go to the top. And for the top, I'm going to add in that needle symbol that we saw a few seconds ago. Again, I've already copied and pasted this into a web server. So I'm just going to take that URL for that needle and copy it. And then I'll head back to my map viewer here and change the image of this to that new symbol. And again, we're going to use the same size so we'll be able to see the needle um, and, the, um, and the gauge together. In the, same, uh, symbol, in the same symbol. All right, so we kind of have the beginnings of this, but of course you want to be able to rotate that needle to show what the actual value is. If we go into the pop-up for each of these points, you'll see that there is a percentile value. So we're going to use that percentile value uh, to be able to help us with that rotation. All right, so let's go in and check that little box that says rotate symbols. But instead of doing it directly on the percentile, I want to create an expression. And the reason why I need to do this is I need to account for the, um, the percentage range, 0 to 100, but I also need to deal with the, the number of degrees in my semicircle. So it goes from 0 to 180. So I need to do some math. To this, for, for this, I'm going to create a simple arcade expression here in this arcade editor. I'm going to take the value of that percentile that we just saw and I'm going to divide it by 100. So we'll be able to take that value, that ninja value, and divide it by 100, make it a percent. But then I'm going to multiply it by 180 to be able to get it into degrees. Let's do a quick little test to make sure that works. It sure does. A number does appear. And we're going to use this calculation on the fly to be able to show where those needles are pointing. Now, if we take a look at the actual values, you can see here that the percentile is about 48%, but the needle's not really pointing that way. Here we've got another value 
of uh, 62%, but the needle again is not quite at the 50 mark. And there is a reason for this. As you recall, the symbol is actually 45 degrees pointing down. So in order to um, zero that needle, we're going to have to add 45 degrees to our equation to be able to uh, have everything align. So that's no problem. I can go back into my arcade editor and I'm going to add that 45 degree value. Do the quick test to make sure it works. Again, it does. And now we should be able to see in our symbols that the needle is, is pointing with the right percentile. So there's 48% that looks right. This one is going to be 62% uh, and that looks right. And here's a lower value over here. And that is, uh, was a 22% and that needle seems to be pointing in the right direction. So that is the basics of how to be able to use an arcade expression in a web map to be able to rotate symbols, to be able to show not only what the condition is, but also what the actual percentage is. So there you have it, being able to rotate symbols in a web map using Arcade. Um, there is a really good blog entry in the Esri Inc. blog. So if you go to blogs.arcgest.com and do a search for Arcade, you'll be able to see a walkthrough of a similar demo to this. Uh, thanks for watching and happy GISing. See you soon.